This is drawing lesson eight, understanding the site size method. Understanding the site size method. So site size is a time-tested way of measuring that allows for a direct comparison between your subject and your drawing. The studio configuration is such that from the artist's vantage point, the subject and the drawing appear to be the same size. These two students are working from the same cast at the Angel Academy in Florence, Italy. Notice that the drawings are position, positioned adjacent to the cast. The artists stand back to look and walk up to draw. It's easy to forget that objects often appear to our eye much smaller than they really are because of the distance between us. Try this. Take your knitting needle or whatever it is that you're using instead of a knitting needle and hold it up to an object far away from you. You can use your pencil and measure the size of the object. Example, a glass is at the far end of the table or a, a glass that is at the far end of the table is about eight inches. But to my eye, it looks like it is one and a half inches. So that's its sight size. When I draw normally using comparative measurements, I'm rendering the object several times larger than I see it. This makes things more difficult because I'm trying to accurately draw it while also enlarging it. The advantage of drawing things at sight size is that you do not have to scale your image. The drawing and the object are the same size. This avoids the unintentional inaccuracies and distortions that are so easy to make because you can uh, com directly compare your image to your subject. Think of children's picture puzzles in which the challenge is to find the five things that are different and two side-by-side -side nearly identical images. With the sight size method, the artist's standing position lies between the still life and her easel. She can look back and forth to compare the two. The sight size method can be adapted depending on the size you want your drawing to be. If you want your drawing to be the same size as your subject, then place an easel with your drawing paper directly next to your subject so that the two are side by side as pictured here. Um, but if you want your drawing to be smaller than the object, if the object is bigger than your paper, then you pull the object further away from you and draw to where it looks the same size. This is the artist setup as seen from above. Notice that the artist stands back to look and walks forward to draw. When setting up your sight size drawing, the recommended distance from your subject is about three times its height. From that point, you can easily see the setup without having to turn your head from the paper to the subject. When you've located your viewing position, mark it with tape on the floor so that the tape runs along your toes and in between your feet, so it looks like a T. With this method, you stand back at the T to look and go up close to draw. You never draw by looking at the same subject from your easel position, which would give you an entirely different view. It feels a little awkward at first, but it becomes seamless within a few hours. If you want to use the site size method, but do not want to have a drawing that ends up the actual size of your subject, then try the following variation. This variant is particularly helpful for figure drawing as very few people want their drawings to be several feet high, right? You don't have a six foot piece of paper so that you can draw someone that's exactly the same size as the person you're drawing. So move your drawing board away from your subject and closer toward your T until the subject appears at a desirable scale. So instead of the drawing being directly next to your subject, it would be somewhere between you and the subject. You stand by your mark to look and you move forward to draw. The sight size method invites a literal comparison between the subject and the drawing. This method yields naturalistic results and it becomes obvious where your drawing differs from the subject, making it easy to correct. The downside of this method is that you're locked into an easel position with a literal representation of your subject. The setup also needs to remain stationary throughout the course of the drawing to make sure your measurements lock in perfectly. So for your assignment, I want you to draw a picture using the sight size method. So you're gonna choose a subject and you're gonna be far enough away from it that it appears to be the same size as the drawing that you're gonna be putting on your piece of paper. So if it's a big object, you're gonna to need to be farther away from it. If it's a close up object that's the same size as your paper, then you're gonna to wanna to have it right next to your paper, okay? And you're gonna use something like a pencil 
to help you measure, right? It's like, remember whenever I said it's like comparing or uh, it's like when you put your thumb up and you close one eye and you like cover the moon with your thumb. Obviously, your thumb is not bigger than the moon, okay? Mm -hmm. But because the moon is so far away, the size of your thumb is comparable to what you see, okay? So it's the same thing when you're doing your sight size method. You're going to hold something up like a pen or pencil or a knitting needle, and it should be about the same size as what you're seeing as your object, okay?